Hey everyone, I'm Akira. We're getting quite a few mounts in patch 10.0.7 compared to the fact that it's not a major content patch. Anyway, I'll be going over some of the easier to get mounts that becomes available in this minor patch. First up is the long wanted blue snail, the gooey snail elemental. This one is a super nice recolor that I believe has been wanted by a lot of players since we got the snail mounts. This mount is obtained by combining 50 leftover elemental slime. And this item is obtained from killing the final bosses in the Primal Storm events in the Forbidden Reach at this location. These events occur every couple of hours and all you have to do is kill 5 elite elementals. Then you will make the boss vulnerable, you then kill the boss and you loot the slime. The bosses drop between 0 to 5 leftover elemental slime each. However, very rarely only drops 0 and the average for me was about 3. The loot doesn't seem to be on a lockout, so you can kill it as many times as you want a day, which also means that you can possibly find the groups for the Primal Storms in the Dungeon Finder tool under Custom Groups to get more kills without having to wait too long for a respawn on your own layer. So get this one done as soon as possible, as later on when the next patch hits, you won't be able to find any groups to jump layer with, so you will not be able to like farm the boss over and over and there probably won't be any groups already from like 10.1 and onwards. One thing to note is that on the PTR this mount was bugged and was not in the mount journal and when you used the reins for it they simply disappeared so I suggest checking the comments on Wowhead or other sources to see if this has been fixed before you learn the mount. A good indicator will also be if this text right here is green then it should be good to go. On the PTR it was orange, like all other flavor text. The next easy mount we're taking a look at is the Noble Brufalon. This mount is a huge bull-like moose, I suppose, and it is obtained from a new vendor in the Forbidden Reach, and it is purchable for a hundred thousand elemental overflow, and yes, it does become easier to get the elemental overflow in patch 10.0.7, don't worry. The vendor is located in Mokut village and is called Storykeeper Ashek. She's located right here. You can get around 700 elemental overflow for each rare spawn kill in the Forbidden Reach every day. You can get a thousand a day for choosing which faction to support via the daily support thing Envoy Charter in Mokut village right next to Ashek and about a thousand from the daily quests that you unlock as well. Also, you get them from random mob kills all around the island and some quests, world quests, etc. And in the Scara vaults from treasures. Anyway, 100,000 should be very easily obtainable within a couple of days, simply playing out the content of the Forbidden Reach. Last up, we have the Mossy Mammoth. And just like the Snail Elemental, this mount was also bugged and disappeared when learned. So I have the same suggestions for this one check some sources to see if this has been fixed before you learn the mount. This also means that no one has actually been able to confirm how this mount looks, but I looked through the models and this was the one that was closest to the item icon in game. However, I feel like on live it will probably be more green and marsy than this one. This mount comes from a puzzle in the new feature of the Forbidden Reach, the Scara Vaults. The Scara Vaults are a vault with several floors and on each floor several doors. The doors can be opened by Scara Vault keys that you obtain from doing content on the Forbidden Reach, mostly just killing rares, but also pretty much everything else. The content inside these doors are randomized, so I cannot make a specific guide about which doors to open. However, I'll cover all that you need to know and what items to look out for. Inside the doors are random content, as I said, everything ranging from treasures to mobs to quests and small puzzles. So to obtain the Mossy Mammoth, you have to open treasure chests inside the vaults of these Gera vaults and find a series of items that you need to combine and in the end you'll combine two items and it will create the mossy mammoth. The first items you're looking for are the strange petrified orb and scrap of black dragon scales. I found the orb on the ground floor of the vault and the scrap on the first floor but I don't believe they are tied to specific treasures or floors at all, simply just RNG when you loot a chest if you get the next item you need or not. You'll need four more items to obtain your mammoth and you'll get them in this order. The drop of blue dragon magic, the ever burning ruby coals, the speck of bronze dust and emerald dragon brooch. I obtained all of the items within one full vault. However, I did almost have to open all of the doors, which is 30 doors in total. So the quick TLDR is you want to get 20 to 30 Scaravolt keys. You enter the Scaravolts, you open doors and chests until you find 
two of the required items, combine them, find a new item, combine again, find a new item, combine again, and so on until you get the Mossy Mammoth. And that's it for this video. Check out my channel for more mount content and 10.0.7 guides and even guides for all the mounts. Leave a like if you like the video and subscribe if you want to see more. I make videos about almost every mount and have also started a one minute mount guide series aimed to inspire your mount grind and knowledge. Anyway, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.